broadcasting my private affairs over the countryside, eh? You are a lone woman with your husband feeding worms in his trench. You're on your own with no gumption and nobody left to back you. Oh, old woman, answer the man. Where's your stiffness gone to? And the county home staring you in the face. Dependent upon people who walk and scrape to make ends meet. We had Oh, I go on, say it. Say it. He'll say nothing now, eh? He had Face the end of your days, old woman. Little to say either of you when the composing was going on. I will tell my son when he comes home the way he oh, are at me. Your son. Little your son cares about you. Long ago you should have been put in your place. Small thanks you show for the freedom you have here. But it never occurred to you that there's a man as an old woman of your age walking the roads without a roof above or a bed beneath them. So the county hall is filled to the jaws with the likes of her, huh? That's right. Oh, you'll see them sticking their heads out of the window, hoping that one of the visitors will come back away and take them away out of it, huh? Oh. It's the sport of cock Aye. to see the way that they'll be haggling over the fork full of meat on a few potatoes. <laughs> ah, but sure, the hardest thing of all is that they will stop the old women of smoking. Oh. An old lady from the far side of the mountain who had a liking for her pipe full of tobacco went out of her mind oh. after three days. Oh. She could be heard screeching in the other world. Wow. They put a bit of sacking over her mouth to keep her quiet, but it was no good but as little. She started scraping herself till the flesh hung from her in jibbles and the blood was coursing from her in streams. It was a madness for the pipe. She was a frightful sight when she died. They buried her in the middle of the night without as much as a living Christian of her own people to whisper a prayer over her. You know, some feckin' people do not know when they are well off. Ah, but she'll change. Oh, she's got a, 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 a look of one that won't. Oh, no, no, she'll change because she's enough of a burden without being a curse altogether. Oh, do you know? Tis walking the roads she should be with the rest of her equals. Oh. Would she walk the road? Where is the independent woman we had in her, eh? Hey? Go on, go on, put your bag on your back and go begging from door to door. Go on, hey, go on. Will she go? Oh, no, she'll not. What a fool she would be to leave her, her warm fire and her, her pipe handy buyer and her three good wrong to diet every day. There is a hatchery of sin in this house. More of your old sharp wrencher, you answer to your own wretch. You sit there day in, day out, taking all you can without a word of thanks, feeding yourself up on the fruits of our labours as if you were born to it, like the queen of the land. Like a child in the cradle. Is it my fault that your son is a tired gomerel of a man? A clucking hen won't I swear I'll take the head of you, I will! Do you see what you're after doing? You have her upset now! She will answer for your evil soul! She will burn the day she gives over her life! She'll burn! Now don't be Goldner! Don't be Goldner! I say it again. There is a hatchery of sin in this house. Leave her for a now. That mind for fate is gone from her. 